Our next type of cable is going to be our SATA cable. SATA stands for Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. SATA is a seven pin connector and it has a 12 inch minimum length and a one meter maximum length. Well, why would we say it has a minimum length? Well, anything less than that 12 inches minimum length can cause some problems with communications. It can cause some uh, a bit of fuzziness, a bit of jarbling on the line between the two endpoints. So we typically like to say that it has a 12 inch minimum length and our one meter maximum length. And that, of course, our one meter maximum length is to prevent signal degradation or external electromagnetic interference on the information on our line. Now, our SATA cable, as well as our other types of cables, comes in different versions for different speeds. It's going to be the same connector on all of the versions, but the versions just specify really what data rate they can transfer at. So our SATA 1 is going to transfer to a rate of about 1.5 gigabits per second. SATA 2, twice as fast at 3.0 gigabits second and SATA 3 again double the transfer of SATA 2 is going to be 6.0 gigabits a second. We do have one more type of SATA connection and it's called an eSATA connection and this eSATA, the E stands for external, allows us to connect SATA connections into uh, the outside of our computer. So or say that we have a laptop and we need to connect an external drive uh, some of those external hard drives actually have eSATA connections. So rather than using a standard USB connector, we plug in the eSATA connection and we do when we have a SATA cable essentially running from our external drive into our computer. This eSATA is going to be transferring at about 5 gigabits per second. What does our SATA cable look like? This one is actually has a bent at the end to make it a bit, little bit easier to get into our hard drives. And our other end, we can just plug into the motherboard. We want to remember that SATA is going to be one-to-one -one port to device ratio. Unlike USB or FireWire where we can have multiple devices daisy chained into one single port, with SATA we're only going to have one device to one port. So when we plug in hard drives into our motherboard, if we have multiple SATA connections on our hard drive, we're only going to be able to connect one hard drive into each of those ports. The same with eSATA, if we plug into an eSATA port, we're only going to be able to connect one device into that eSATA port. Our next connector that we're going to take a look at is going to is IDE, also known as PETA. IDE and PETA are the same connection. Now uh, you'll hear them use interchangeably. PETA stands for Parallel Advanced Technology Attachment, sort of complementing Serial Advanced Technology Attachment, SATA, the previous cable that we've talked about. Our PETA cables are going to be a slightly different cable than this one. This is actually a floppy drive connector, as we can tell by our twist in the cable. But our PETA cables are going to be a ribbon cable, just like that one, that have 40 connections and two versions. We have a 40 cable version and an 80 cable version. When we're talking about modern usage of IDE PETA cables, we want to use the version, the version that actually has the 80 wires. That 80 wires allows us to have a bit better connection, um, a bit less crosstalk and a bit faster connection because it actually uses additional wires for each of the connection, um, basically is uh, co-wires. So if we do have any systems that we notice that we have remaining 40 wire connectors and we have the opportunity and the system uh, allows for it, we can. We want to replace those with 80 wire, wire ribbon cables. Now, of course, the best solution would be if possible, uh, we're moving towards SATA, we're moving toward different type of connections, we're moving away from PETA, but if need be, we can replace those older 40 wire connections with 80 wire connections. IDE actually has a max speed and it's two different versions. First iteration would be 100 megabits per second and then our second version would be 133 megabits per second. Our max length that we really want to use with our SATA cables is going to be 18 inches. So we don't want our device any farther away than 18 inches from the controller on the cable.